Hello, everyone, and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. Free snap motion in the backfield. He's looking to throw it. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. All right, now, if you're the quarterback, you got to know in this game, you better be ready every snap. You better know where the pressure is coming from because this defense is going to bring it from all over the place. First down, Zach pushes it back. Now it's second down. The option look. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. To throw, it's Bowers. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. I'm not sure what good that did. The completion's fine for the percentage and the stats, but the result's the same. Not enough for the first down. Punt team on the field. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Looking to the big tight end. Makes a connection. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Fires to the middle. Oh, what a grab by the defense. They got him down pretty quickly after the pick, but now they've got it at the 15-yard line. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. The offense lining up for a first down play. They go to the ground. Across the 25, he's got room. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. They're going to ride this running back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Hands it off. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Dropping back, it's Bowers. Dumps it to the back. Got his man. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. New set of downs after that completion. 
for the offense. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Throws for the tight end. What a job to lay out and make the catch. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Got it inside the 30 before he's finally pulled down at the 25. It's a gain of six. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And this will be the ninth play of the drive. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it on the move. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. A run for the quarterback. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Well, based on that, we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started. To the air, it's Bowers. It's complete! Makes the easy catch and weaves his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They're in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Wisconsin is currently trailing, but if this young star powers a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winners Alan Amici and Ron Dane among the greats to play in Madison. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Oregon. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. It's first and 10 from the 31. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's gonna slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. From the gun, the running back has it. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And here comes the punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First down for this offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And wings it incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. 
And when you're a quarterback, man, I know wide receivers are great athletes and they're supposed to catch everything that gets near them, but when you don't put it right on the center when they're running a lot of times, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And I think he did that a little bit too much for his wide receiver right there. To the air, it's Bowers. Throws to the wideout. And that pass is intercepted. Taking it the other way. Touchdown! This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, and get you a touchdown. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. The lone back's got it. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now they'll run the draw. And he could not get loose on the run. Third down conversion's always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. They bring the punter onto the field now. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Works the middle. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Pass Defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. He'll pull it on the read. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. To the ground with the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Keep it on the ground. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got it, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. The offense slips the running back out of the backfield. Nobody decides to cover him. My man makes the play. Shows off the hands first. Got to make the catch first. Does the rest. Walks in the end zone for the touchdown. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. 
So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes the offense on first down. From the shotgun, the inside give. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Looking for a man. It's Bowers. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. No one's going to get him. Touchdown. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the score. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Offense getting set for first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And anytime you hit the quarterback, man, you make him think, you speed up the processor a little bit, and that's the third on the day. This is a unit, actually, that does a good job of that. They're in the top 25 in the country at getting the quarterback on the ground. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. He's looking to throw. Stands in and takes the hit. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Slips through the line. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. The offense set for a first down play. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes the catch. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're hard to stop. They're already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Coastal Carolina is down, but they are not out of it. Not there on the surf turf in Conway, one of the more enjoyable places to watch a game in all of college football. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Marshall. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And they got him for the sack. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. Here's the give off the left side. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And here comes the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. On first down, here comes this offense. 
They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got his man downfield. Brings him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a first down for this offense. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. That ball was nearly intercepted. They'll live to tell about it. Third down coming up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. And it's no good. He missed it. After the missed field goal, hey, could be worse. They're still up by 21. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Three tight ends in the formation on first and 10. He'll start this drive firing. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. I got to be honest, I thought this tight end was going to have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They bring the punter onto the field now. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Looking to move it through the air. Quick strike complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. This offense has a second down play. Off play action. They're trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. He hurls one deep down the left side. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, he thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Wide receiver shows motion. Wants to throw on first down. 
grabbed in the backfield. It's English. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. A first down for the offense. They'll ride the hot hand. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's English. I really like the slot receiver. I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. The hand to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. On second down, looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Bell. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Keep it on the ground, and he's in for the touchdown. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. With more drives like this is what's needed. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. And he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They've got the big fellas out there, a three-tight end look on first and 10. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Finds the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out-physicaled. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. on the play. Coming up, fourth down.
One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. How about that pass rush coming up with a third down sack and forcing the punt? Running it back, it's Harvey. He's got great speed. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. All right, offense cooking right now. That's a nice pass and catch. A big gainer, and it now sets the offense up down in the red zone. He dialed up a beauty on that last one. It got him inside the red zone. Now it's first and 10 from the 16. Here comes the option. Got some room, head to the goal line. Sprints into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? You can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. And the extra point cuts the lead to 7, 28-21. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Iowa State is running away with this one thanks to an offense that's been clicking in every facet of the game. They're up by 19 over Cincinnati. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Leaves it with the back. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. The give on the inside. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They've been running it, but now the pass. Whoa, does he turn that loose down the middle? And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll do it himself. Bulls his way forward. Well, I'll tell you what, just watching this QB in the run game, he's going to break one. At some point in this game, he's going to break a home run. Defense did a nice job getting him down there, but this guy, I'm telling you, he's just a play away from taking him to the house. Keep letting this guy do his thing. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. On target over the middle. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. The inside handoff. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the move. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw for it. Let's it fly. It's snagged in the end zone. Touchdown. They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. This 
game. Must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Just about set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. They'll go with a direct snap. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. First down here for the offense. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around him doing their job to make it a good play call. And every touchdown. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. On to attempt the try. They tack on the extra point, and they're down a touchdown, 35-28. They're lining up to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Makes his man miss. He's finally brought down, but that freshman found some running room. They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And more yards after contact. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Quickly complete. Finds a crease at the 20. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would try to run the football, right? Or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. If you don't tip the scales at three bills, stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. They'll run it left, looking for the end zone here. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. A touchdown here on third and goal really ratchets up the game pressure. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Absolutely perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Getting some heat. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Looking to throw, it's Bowers. Finds his man down the middle. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. 
And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. He will not pick up the first down. The desperation play, and that one might have sealed their fate. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. From the gun, the ground game. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And to the end zone for a touchdown. They've now extended that lead, and they're trying to hang on for a Week 12 victory. You know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Off play action on first down. It's complete to the right. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Got it in the middle. It's Montgomery. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Good enough for a first down. Going up top on first down. Release to the back. Makes the grab. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. They'll line up for a second down play. Dropping back, it's Bowers. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Fires to the wideout. Got his man to the left. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Fires into the end zone. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Pressure's there and he lets it go. That pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate it wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it and still on his feet. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. He'll set up to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not, so being on the same page, and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play, just like he did right there for six points. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Time is against them, still down by two scores, but they'll line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. 
plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. It's amazing how much offense has just boomed in college football. So good. So many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on the show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And, man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.